Davia is actually an art movement, and it stands for Deaf View Image Art. And that's a term that was coined by a group of deaf artists and one deaf art historian in 1989. They came together because they were recognizing there was a rising tide of interest in expressing the deaf experience. I'm Susan Deus. My role has been working as essentially the lead educator. I am an outsider. I am a hearing individual. How I am understanding the deaf experience is thanks to this art and thanks to the individuals I've worked with. My name is Tabitha Jacques. I'm the director of the Dyer Art Center located at RIT and TID. My role with the MAG DeVia exposition was I was head curator. This is a huge breakthrough to have a deaf related art exhibit in a hearing, predominantly hearing museum. It's a huge breakthrough anywhere in the United States. One of the artists involved in the DeVia art movement, her name is Nancy Rourke. So Nancy Rourke decided to establish a Davia challenge. So artists could learn about Davia and then participate in expressing their own deaf experience through their own art. It could be celebratory artwork or it could be artwork that expresses frustration and isolation. So through that project, it allowed artists from you know, just the beginnings of their career to those very adept, experienced artists to share their work in one place and collaborate together. I hope that the hearing community understands the pride. This is a community, a robust community, a dynamic community. When they see the Davia exhibit, I hope that they're proud. I hope they leave feeling a renewed sense of pride, a sense of yeah, we matter in this whole world. What an opportunity for an art museum that celebrates the visual arts and the deaf community that is extraordinarily visual in everything that this will prove a place where we can meet. I think that feeling of inspiration and being seen, having their culture being seen and having their culture become part of the mainstream and the majority culture was huge. And there was a sense of validation among the community, you know, that we do belong in this space and we belong in the Dyer Art Center and the Memorial Art Gallery.